So today we're going to be focusing on our right hand. And I'm going to show you two simple different techniques that you could do with your right hand that's going to give you a kind of nice and percussive sound, right? Something different than just your normal strumming and incorporating into chord progressions that you're already playing, okay? So without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to be keeping our chords very simple. We're going to just be going from A minor into a C, into a G, and then into a D. Okay, so for our first technique, I'm going to start very, very simple and very slow. We're going to um, always play the first low note that we're allowed to play, okay? And that's most, in most cases, going to be your root note, okay? So if you're playing an A minor, you're going to play the A. If you're playing a C, you're going to play the C. If you're playing a G, you're going to play a G, right? So we're going to start off with that bass, and that's really giving the listener that root note t tonality. They're hearing that first. And then when the chord comes, it just sounds very, very natural because we've already put that root center, you know, that musical center into their ear, okay? So we're gonna hit the bass, then with these three fingers, we're just gonna go up on the strings, very simple, right? And then with our fist, we're just gonna close it and go down on the strings. And that's gonna give us a slightly percussive sound, right? Okay, then to end it off, we're just gonna do another little upstroke with those fingers, okay? So really slow. I already feel that groove, right? For the C, again, very simple. Same exact thing. The lowest note is here. We're just going to stick to these three notes. You could, again, hit one, two, and three with these fingers if you want to. But I like to keep it a little bit more compact with these notes, okay? So same thing. Practice that a little bit. You could practice it just by going from A minor into C just to get started with it, right? Then we're gonna to go to a G, and here's where we're gonna have a slight difference, right? Because now we're gonna have a different root note, okay? But we're still gonna to stick to these three notes because they're already under our fingers and it's easy, you know, to just have that continuous motion, I guess you'd say, okay? Sixth string, which is the G, same thing, right? So. Okay, so all together, A minor, Let's do it two times on each chord. And now for the D, again, this is gonna really illustrate that point of the first lowest note that it's allowed for you. For D, we're gonna grab that fourth string. And now we're gonna to have to move our first three strings down to the first, second, and third string, right? Because for the D, you have to do that anyway. Okay, so whole thing nice and slow with that first little strumming pattern or that first little right hand technique. So real slow on the A minor. Take this really slowly. Okay, so that's the first time around. Again, practice it just on one chord when you start out, if this is totally new for you, then slowly start to add in the rest of the chords, okay? And don't worry if you can't get this the first day. Um, if this is new for you, I've seen a lot of beginners you know, be challenged by this. So don't worry about it. It's a fun thing to practice um, and it's gonna make your, your playing really pop, okay? So the second thing is very, very similar, except now we're gonna do, instead of that slap down, after we do that bass up, we're just gonna um, do this. A little slap down with our fingers and then a gentle little upstroke with those fingers, okay? So I'm using my fingernails on that slap down and then I'm just gently going back up, so. And I'm, I'm mostly using my first finger for that upstroke, okay? so. You could use your middle finger in there too. Try to slowly just feel it out. Don't worry if you can't get it right away, but I, I tend to use mostly my first finger. And you're gonna notice you're gonna get stuck. It's not gonna work right away, but just try to think of your fingers as a feather that are just breezing over the string, okay? That you don't need to hit them hard. Okay, so bass up, slap down, and then up. Okay, so that's the new pattern. When you go to C, the exact same thing. When you go to G, now again, we're gonna switch that bass. D, one more time. All 
right, so that's about that, okay? So I hope that this is giving you some new ideas, some new inspiration, showing you a new technique that you can do on the guitar. And if you've already maybe been introduced to this, maybe you forgot about it. So now you can get back to it and kind of reintroduce yourself to it, okay? If you want to see more lessons just like this, there's one right here. Um, I will see you there. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you also next Friday. Take it easy. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.